Running a restaurant is tough. Keeping track of ingredients, managing suppliers, and controlling costs can feel overwhelming. But what if I told you there is a smarter way to handle it all? Meet Market Man, your ultimate inventory management sidekick, because in today's video, I will walk you through how to use Market Man to streamline your restaurant's inventory like a pro. So let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is visit the official website, which is going to be marketman.com. From here on the top corner, you can click the login button. So you can log in using your credentials. This will forward you to this option. But if you don't have an account yet, just click the request a demo. What will happen is you need to provide all the information needed. And then once you are successfully now you will be forwarded to the official website of market man and that's going to be where the the actual restaurants inventory management software that is designed to streamline back of house operations reduce food costs and of course improve overall efficiency we're gonna click the cancel for now because we're gonna go directly to the interface this is the perfect opportunity for us to explore all of it now Essentially, you will be greeted with the dashboard. It is the home screen of Market Man and provides an overview of your restaurant's operations. You have the sales. If you want to connect your point of sale or pause, you can do that here by clicking this button. You have the ordering, receiving orders, top by profit, accounting, and cogs over time. Count value, waste, and prime cost. So these displays the key metrics of all the levels shows alerts for low stock pending orders or other critical information it's just a summary of what you can uh, basically check from here now if you want to click the full report click this small button right here and then there is the section for the items and setup now for the items and setup this section allows you to add of course and organize all inventory items ingredients and supplies so we have inventory items, new items, and irregular prices. So let's say we're going to add a new item here. You see that? So if if you want, basically here, go to inventory items. You can manually add a new one, right? Let's click on add. You can import from Excel if you have that, but we're going to do it manually. So the first thing is we're going to put the uh, inventory name. For example, this is the menu is about you can choose from the drop down menu about the item category. So the category is going to be category name is okay, so and click on the save button so we have now uh, an item for an inventory all we have to do now is click the save button so for purchase option product description is if you don't have any supplier we'll de deal with this supply later but for now the supplier is gonna be okay so that's gonna be our new supplier so essentially you can do that and click the uh, save button we're gonna skip all the information here category is click on save for now click the save button so we have successfully created our first inventory we're gonna click on save and and in our let's say that's that click on save and we have successfully created our first item that will be included in the inventory. And again, of course, you can explore all of these at your own pace. You have the irregular prices, sort items, storage areas, categories, suppliers, which is one of the most important part of here. So we have created our first supplier. And you see, there's going to be a lot of suppliers here if you have a pre-populated suppliers. 
Now, for the actions, you can download supplier catalog or download supplier's contact details. If you want to add another supplier, okay, so for example, if you wanted to add a new supplier here, just click on save. But we already have one supplier, and if you want to disconnect or disengage with the recent supplier, just click this button right here. We're going to go to the purchasing because for the purchasing, it is a section used for ordering supplies and ingredients directly from your vendor. It features an automated ordering system that generates purchase orders based on stock levels. You see that there are place orders right here. If you click on it, it will be forwarded here. You have the product name. Okay, so we're going to use this as an example. So for Chronony, let's say you have that and click on the send button. All right. Comments is click on send. All right. Now, since you have already placed your order, okay, we can, if you wanted to, uh, Go to the actual orders. For the inventory uh, purchasing right here. Receive orders. You have that. We're going to remove that because it's just for training purposes. Placed orders. If, uh, Now, the next section is going to be, after all doing all the orders, you have, of course, the invoices. Okay? Obviously, the invoices is a section where you wanted to make control of your financial details. So, you have the attachments, accounting sync, and a lot more, plus the supplier name. And then, there's the credit reminders and the scanned invoices for financial auditing and tracking. And, of course, record keeping. Next is going to be the report. Essentially, this section can give you detailed reports on inventory usage. You have the cogs and gross profits right here. You can run report if you want. Click this section, but there's going to be a gear icon on here. You can configure the category and stock period cycle. You also have an option to see that download extended report or download percentage report. If you want to run report, click this button right here. It'll generate and it'll give you this section. Okay. Now you can include cost tracking reports, vendor spending reports, invariance reports, actual versus expected stock, which in turn helps you identify trends in food costs, waste, and profitability. Now we have the cons over time, actual versus theoretical, minimum profitability, and a lot more. But we're gonna skip that and go to the inventory because it's one of the key features of market man now the inventory gives you a real time of current stock levels you have the inventory stock uh, count value all right for example we're gonna create our first inventory account by clicking on the add account here so we have that and just act, just click on save now this allows you to manually stock adjustments and reordering based on sales trends it helps ensure that stock is properly rotated to prevent waste all right last is going to be the procurement the procurement gives you all of these section managing supplies relationships and of course payments to vendors all right tracks purchases invoices and order histories not only that it helps maintain consistent supply chain management by keeping vendor details up to date you have supplier by week open orders now the good thing about uh, market madness is that on the bottom you have the option to refer a friend and get a hundred one thousand dollars gift card if you click on the button right here you will be forwarded with a small dialog box and all you have to do is copy that link you can share it via the email you have all of these emails for you gmail your local or business email like outlook I have an outlook here in yahoo mail all right and then you can also copy this link and send it to social media platforms maybe like uh, whatsapp instagram facebook twitter and a lot more so it's it's up to you now if you wanted to know more about the market man's pricing if you wanted to scale up they offer the management plan of starter which is 199 dollars per month and you have all these all right growth comes at 249 
And the enterprise is basically a costume where and you need to book a discovery call with one of the sales professional so that they can offer a tailored fit solution depending on how big is your organization and your budget and goal. All right, so starter, growth, and enterprise. And with that being said, that's a wrap for today's video. Market Man is here to simplify your restaurants and venery management, and I hope this tutorial helped you get a better grip on tracking stock, reducing waste, and keeping your costs under control. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and we will see you again in the next video.